Tone is the use of pitch in language to distinguish lexical or grammatical meaning, that is, to distinguish or to inflect words. All verbal languages use pitch to express emotional and other paralinguistic information and to convey emphasis, contrast, and other such features in what is called intonation, but not all languages use tones to distinguish words or their inflections, analogously to consonants and vowels. Languages that do have this feature are called tonal languages. The distinctive tone patterns of such a language are sometimes called tonemes, by analogy with phoneme. Tonal languages are common in East and Southeast Asia, the Pacific, Africa, and the Americas. As many as 70% of world languages may be tonal. In many tonal African languages, such as most Bantu languages, tones are distinguished by their pitch level relative to each other, known as a register tone system. In multisyllable words, a single tone may be carried by the entire word rather than a different tone on each syllable. Often, grammatical information, such as past versus present, I versus you, or positive versus negative, is conveyed solely by tone. In the most widely spoken tonal language, Mandarin Chinese, tones are distinguished by their distinctive shape, known as contour, with each tone having a different internal pattern of rising and falling pitch. Many words, especially monosyllabic ones, are differentiated solely by tone. In a multisyllabic word, each syllable often carries its own tone. Unlike in Bantu systems, tone plays little role in the grammar of modern standard Chinese, though the tones descend from features in Old Chinese that had morphological significance such as changing a verb to a noun or vice versa. Contour systems are typical of languages of the mainland Southeast Asia linguistic area, including Kra Dai, Vietic and Sino-Tibetan languages. The Afroasiatic, Khoisan, Niger-Congo and Nilo-Saharan languages spoken in Africa are dominated by register systems. Some languages combine both systems, such as Cantonese, which produces three varieties of contour tone at three different pitch levels, and the Omotic Afro-Asiatic language bench, which employs five level tones and one or two rising tones across levels. Many languages use tone in a more limited way. In Japanese, fewer than half of the words have a drop in pitch, words contrast according to which syllable this drop follows. Such minimal systems are sometimes called pitch accent since they are reminiscent of stress accent languages, which typically allow one principal stressed syllable per word. However, there is debate over the definition of pitch accent and whether a coherent definition is even possible. List of tonal languages Africa Most languages of Sub-Saharan Africa are members of the Niger-Congo family, which is predominantly tonal, notably excepting Swahili in the southeast. Most languages spoken in the Senegambia among them Wolof, Surer and Kanjan languages, Koira Chennai and Fulani. The Afroasiatic languages include both tonal Chadic, Omotic and nonchanal Semitic, Berber, Egyptian, and most Cushitic branches. All three Khoisan language families, Ko, Kayeka and Tu, are tonal. Asia Numerous tonal languages are widely spoken in China and mainland Southeast Asia. Sino-Tibetan and thai kadai languages are mostly tonal, including Thai, Lao, all the varieties of Chinese though some, such as Shanghainese, are only marginally tonal and Burmese with few exceptions such as Amdu Tibetan. The Hmong Mien languages are some of the most tonal languages in the world, with as many as twelve phonemically distinct tones. Austroasiatic such as Khmer and Mon and Austronesian such as Malay languages are mostly non-tonal with the rare exception of Austroasiatic languages like Vietnamese, and Austronesian languages like Semuhi and Utsal. Tones in Vietnamese and Utsal may result from heavy Chinese influence on both languages. There were tones in Middle Korean. Other languages represented in the region, such as Mongolian, Uyghur, and Japanese belong to language families that do not contain any tonality as defined here. In South Asia, many Indo-Aryan languages have tonality, including many languages from the Northwest Zone, like Punjabi, Dagri, and Landa and many Bengali Assamese languages such as Silheti, Rohingya, Chittagonian and Chakma. Europe 
In Europe, Indo-European languages such as Swedish, Norwegian, Limburgish and Scots Germanic languages, Serbo-Croatian and Slovene Slavic languages, Lithuanian and Latvian Baltic languages, have tonal characteristics. Australasia Although the Austronesian language family has some tonal members such as New Caledonia's Semuhi language, no tonal languages have been discovered in Australia. Tone is also present in many Papuan languages. America A large number of North, South and Central American languages are tonal, including many of the Athabascan languages of Alaska and the American Southwest including Navajo, and the Oto Mangayan languages of Mexico. Among the Mayan languages, which are mostly non-tonal, Yucatec with the largest number of speakers, Uspantec, and one dialect of Sotzil have developed tone systems. However, although tone systems have been recorded for many American languages, little theoretical work has been completed for the characterization of their tone systems. In different cases, OTO Mangayan tone languages in Mexico have been found to possess tone systems similar to both Asian and African tone languages. <laughs> Summary Languages that are tonal include over 50% of the Sino-Tibetan languages. All Sinitic languages most prominently, the Chinese languages, some Tibetic languages, including the standard languages of Lhasa and Bhutan, and Burmese. In the Austroasiatic family, Vietnamese and other members of the Vietic languages family are strongly tonal. Other branches of this family, such as Mon, Khmer, and the Munda languages, are entirely non-tonal. Some of the Malayo-Polynesian branch of Austronesian languages in New Caledonia such as Paisi and Semuhi and New Guinea such as Moor, Maya and Matbat plus some of the Chamic languages such as Tsat and Hainan are tonal. The entire Kra Dai family, spoken mainly in China, Vietnam, Thailand, and Laos, and including Thai and Lao is tonal. The entire Hmong Mien family is highly tonal. Many Afroasiatic languages in the Chadic and Omotic branches have registered tone systems, including Hausa. Omotic languages are an exception in having both contour and register tones. Some Cushitic languages also have tone systems. The vast majority of Niger-Congo languages, such as Yu, Igbo, Lingala, Maninka, Yoruba, and the Zulu, have registered tone systems. The Kru languages have contour tones. Notable non-tonal Niger-Congo languages are Swahili, Fula, and Wolof. Most Nilo-Saharan languages including Dinka and Luo have registered tone systems. All Khoisan languages in southern Africa have contour tone systems, some languages like Sandawe have mixed tone systems like that of Cantonese. Slightly more than half of the Athabascan languages, such as Navajo, have registered tone systems languages in California, Oregon and a few in Alaska excluded. The Athabascan tone languages fall into two mirror image groups. That is, a word which has a high tone in one language will have a cognate with a low tone in another, and vice versa. Iroquoian languages like Mohawk commonly have register tone. Oklahoma Cherokee has the most extensive tonal inventory, with six tones, of which four are contours. Here the correlation between contour tone and simple syllable structures is clearly shown, whereas Mohawk, with three register tones in stressed syllables only, permits a large number of consonant clusters. Cherokee phonotactics permit only syllables of the structure S, C, V. All OTO Mangayan languages are tonal. Most have register tone, though some have contour tones as well. In some cases, as with Mixtec, tone system variations between dialects are sufficiently great to cause mutual unintelligibility. Many languages of New Guinea like Sian possess register tone systems. Some Indo-European languages as well as others possess what is termed pitch accent, where only the stressed syllable of a word can have different contour tones, these are not always considered to be cases of tone language. Some European-based Creole languages, such as Saramakan and Papiamento, have tone from their African substratum languages. In some cases it is difficult to determine whether a language is tonal. For example, the Ket language has been described as having up to eight tones by some investigators, as having four tones by others, but by some as having no tone at all. 
In cases such as these, the classification of a language as tonal may depend on the researcher's interpretation of what tone is. For instance, the Burmese language has phonetic tone, but each of its three tones is accompanied by a distinctive phonation creaky, murmured or plain vowels. It could be argued either that the tone is incidental to the phonation, in which case Burmese would not be phonemically tonal, or that the phonation is incidental to the tone, in which case it would be considered tonal. Something similar appears to be the case with Ket. The 19th century constructed language Solezel can consist of only tone, although, unlike all natural tonal languages, Solezel's tone is absolute rather than relative and no tone sandy occurs. Mechanics Most languages use pitch as intonation to convey prosody and pragmatics, but this does not make them tonal languages. In tonal languages, each syllable has an inherent pitch contour, and thus minimal pairs or larger minimal sets exist between syllables with the same segmental features consonants and vowels but different tones. Here is a minimal tone set from Mandarin Chinese, which has five tones, here transcribed by diacritics over the vowels. A high-level tone, a, pinyin. A tone starting with mid-pitch and rising to a high pitch, a, pinyin a acute. A low tone with a slight fall, if there is no following syllable, it may start with a dip then rise to a high pitch, a, pinyin. A short, sharply falling tone, starting high and falling to the bottom of the speaker's vocal range, a, pinyin a grave. A neutral tone, with no specific contour, used on weak syllables, its pitch depends chiefly on the tone of the preceding syllable, these tones combine with a syllable such as ma to produce different words. A minimal set based on ma are, in pinyin transcription, ma, ma ma mother, ma, ma ma hemp, ma, ma ma horse, ma, ma ma scold, ma, ma ma an interrogative particle these may be combined into the rather contrived sentence, Ma 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 da ma 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 da ma ma pinyin ma 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 made ma ma IPA per meter ama ma, ma mat ma ma Translation is mom scolding the horse's hemp a well known tongue twister in standard Thai as him 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 IPA per meter i my 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 Translation does new silk burn Vietnamese has its version Bay nay bay 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 Chu nam Pi, bye bye IPA, I, ni, I, I, da, I, I, I. Translation All along you've set up the seven traps incorrectly. Cantonese has its version Yi ren yin yi ri yin yi ren yi yin er ren jit ping, jot the 1st of January, the 4th of January, 1 jot 1 jot the 6th of January, 5 jot the 1st of January, 6 jot the 1st of January, 3 g the 4th of January, 2 IPA Translation, a person why stay endured due to a day have introduced a knife and a print, tone is most frequently manifested on vowels, but in most tonal languages where voiced syllabic consonants occur they will bear tone as well. This is especially common with syllabic nasals, for example in many Bantu and Kru languages, but also occurs in Serbo-Croatian. It is also possible for lexically contrastive pitch or tone to span entire words or morphemes instead of manifesting on the syllable nucleus vowels, which is the case in Punjabi. Tones can interact in complex ways through a process known as tone sandy. Topic: <laughs> Tone and intonation. Both lexical or grammatical tone and prosodic intonation are cued by changes in pitch, as well sometimes by changes in phonation. Lexical tone coexists with intonation, with the lexical changes of pitch like waves superimposed on larger swells. For example, Luxanianawan describes three intonational patterns in Thai, falling with semantics of finality, closedness and definiteness, rising, non-finality, openness and non-definiteness and convoluted contrariness, conflict and emphasis. The phonetic realization of these intonational patterns superimposed on the five lexical tones of Thai in citation form are as follows. With convoluted intonation, it appears that high and falling tone conflate, while the low tone with convoluted intonation has the same contour as rising tone with falling intonation. Topic. Register tones and contour tones 
Tone systems fall into two broad patterns, according to whether contour tones exist. Most varieties of Chinese use contour tone systems, where the distinguishing feature of the tones are their shifts in pitch that is, the pitch is a contour, such as rising, falling, dipping, or level. Most Bantu languages, on the other hand, have non-contour tone or register tone systems where the distinguishing feature is the relative difference between the pitches, such as high, mid, or low, rather than their shapes. In such systems there is a default tone, usually low in a two-tone system or mid in a three-tone system, that is more common and less salient than other tones. There are also languages that combine relative pitch and contour tones, such as many KRU languages, where nouns are distinguished by contour tones and verbs by pitch. Others, such as Yoruba, have phonetic contours, but these can easily be analyzed as sequences of single pitch tones, with for example sequences of high-low, ah, becoming falling, a circumflex, and sequences of low-high, ah, becoming rising. Falling tones tend to fall further than rising tones rise, high-low tones are common, whereas low-high tones are quite rare. A language with contour tones will also generally have as many or more falling tones than rising tones. However, exceptions are not unheard of. MPI, for example, has three level and three rising tones, but no falling tones. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Register phonation. In a number of East Asian languages, tonal differences are closely intertwined with phonation differences. In Vietnamese, for example, the na and sac tones are both high rising but the former is distinguished by having glottalization in the middle. Similarly, the nong and huyan tones are both low falling, but the nong tone is shorter and pronounced with creaky voice at the end, while the huyan tone is longer and often has breathy voice. In some languages, such as Burmese, pitch and phonation are so closely intertwined that the two are combined in a single phonological system, where neither can be considered without the other. The distinctions of such systems are termed registers, not to be confused with register tones described above. Topic: <laughs> Tone terracing and tone sandy. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Tone terracing. Tones are realized as pitch only in a relative sense. High tone and low tone are only meaningful relative to the speaker's vocal range and in comparing one syllable to the next, rather than as a contrast of absolute pitch such as one finds in music. As a result, when one combines tone with sentence prosody, the absolute pitch of a high tone at the end of a prosodic unit may be lower than that of a low tone at the beginning of the unit, because of the universal tendency in both tonal and non-tonal languages for pitch to decrease with time in a process called downdrift. Tones may affect each other just as consonants and vowels do. In many register tone languages, low tones may cause a downstep in following high or mid tones. The effect is such that even while the low tones remain at the lower end of the speaker's vocal range, which is itself descending due to downdrift, the high tones drop incrementally like steps in a stairway or terraced rice fields, until finally the tones merge and the system has to be reset. This effect is called tone terracing. Sometimes a tone may remain as the sole realization of a grammatical particle after the original consonant and vowel disappear, so it can only be heard by its effect on other tones. It may cause downstep, or it may combine with other tones to form contours. These are called floating tones. <laughs> tone sandy In many contour tone languages, one tone may affect the shape of an adjacent tone. The affected tone may become something new, a tone that only occurs in such situations, or it may be changed into a different existing tone. This is called tone sandy. In Mandarin Chinese, for example, a dipping tone between two other tones is reduced to a simple low tone, which otherwise does not occur in Mandarin Chinese, whereas if two dipping tones occur in a row, the first becomes a rising tone, indistinguishable from other rising tones in the language. For example, the words hen very and how good produce the phrase hen hao very good. Word tones and syllable tones Another difference between tonal languages is whether the tones apply independently to each syllable or to the word as a whole. 
In Cantonese, Thai, and to some extent the Kru languages, each syllable may have a tone, whereas in Shanghainese, the Scandinavian languages, and many Bantu languages, the contour of each tone operates at the word level. That is, a trisyllabic word in a three-tone syllable tone language has many more tonal possibilities 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27 than a monosyllabic word 3, but there is no such difference in a word tone language. For example, Shanghainese has two contrastive phonemic tones no matter how many syllables are in a word. Many languages described as having pitch accent are word tone languages. Tone sandy is an intermediate situation, as tones are carried by individual syllables, but affect each other so that they are not independent of each other. For example, a number of Mandarin Chinese suffixes and grammatical particles have what is called when describing Mandarin Chinese a neutral tone, which has no independent existence. If a syllable with a neutral tone is added to a syllable with a full tone, the pitch contour of the resulting word is entirely determined by that other syllable. After high level and high rising tones, the neutral syllable has an independent pitch that looks like a mid-register tone, the default tone in most register tone languages. However, after a falling tone it takes on a low pitch, the contour tone remains on the first syllable, but the pitch of the second syllable matches where the contour leaves off. And after a low dipping tone, the contour spreads to the second syllable, the contour remains the same whether the word has one syllable or two. In other words, the tone is now the property of the word, not the syllable. Shanghainese has taken this pattern to its extreme, as the pitches of all syllables are determined by the tone before them, so that only the tone of the initial syllable of a word is distinctive. <laughs> Tonal polarity Languages with simple tone systems or pitch accent may have one or two syllables specified for tone, with the rest of the word taking a default tone. Such languages differ in which tone is marked and which is the default. In Navajo, for example, syllables have a low tone by default, whereas marked syllables have high tone. In the related language Sakani, however, the default is high tone, and marked syllables have low tone. There are parallels with stress. English stressed syllables have a higher pitch than unstressed syllables, whereas in Russian, stressed syllables have a lower pitch. Topic: <usas> Uses of tone. In East Asia, tone is typically lexical. This is characteristic of heavily tonal languages such as Chinese, Vietnamese, Thai, and Hmong. That is, tone is used to distinguish words which would otherwise be homonyms, rather than in the grammar, but some Yu Chinese dialects have minimal grammatical use of tone. However, in many African languages, especially in the Niger-Congo family, tone is crucial to the grammar, with relatively little lexical use. In the Kru languages, a combination of these patterns is found. Nouns tend to have complex tone systems reminiscent of East Asia but are not much affected by grammatical inflections, whereas verbs tend to have simple tone systems of the type more typical of Africa, which are inflected to indicate tense and mood, person, and polarity, so that tone may be the only distinguishing feature between you went and I won't go. In colloquial Yoruba, especially when spoken quickly, vowels may assimilate to each other, and consonants elide so much of the lexical and grammatical information as carried by tone. In languages of West Africa such as Yoruba, people may even communicate with so-called talking drums, which are modulated to imitate the tones of the language, or by whistling the tones of speech. Note that tonal languages are not distributed evenly across the same range as non-tonal languages. Instead, the majority of tone languages belong to the Niger-Congo, Sino-Tibetan and Vietic groups, which are then composed by a large majority of tone languages and dominate a single region. Only in limited locations South Africa, New Guinea, Mexico, Brazil and a few others are tone languages occurring as individual members or small clusters within a non-tone dominated area. In some locations, like Central America, it may represent no more than an incidental effect of which languages were included when one examines the distribution. For groups like Khoisan in southern Africa and Papuan languages, whole families of languages possess tonality but simply have relatively few members, and for some North American tone languages, multiple independent origins are suspected. If generally considering only complex tone versus no tone, it might be concluded that tone is almost always an ancient feature within a language family that is highly conserved among members. 
However, when considered in addition to simple tone systems that include only two tones, tone, as a whole, appears to be more labile, appearing several times within Indo-European languages, several times in American languages, and several times in Papuan families. That may indicate that rather than a trait unique to some language families, tone is a latent feature of most language families that may more easily arise and disappear as languages change over time. A 2015 study by Caleb Everett argued that tonal languages are more common in hot and humid climates, which make them easier to pronounce, even when considering familial relationships. This is perhaps the first known case of influence of the environment on the structure of the languages spoken in it. Phonetic notation There are three main approaches to notating tones in phonetic descriptions of a language. The easiest from a typological perspective is a numbering system, with the pitch levels assigned numerals and each tone transcribed as a numeral or sequence of numerals. Such systems tend to be idiosyncratic high tone may be assigned the numeral 1, 3, or 5, for example, and have not been adopted for the International Phonetic Alphabet. Also simple for simple tone systems is a series of diacritics such as O acute for high tone and O grave for low tone. This has been adopted by the IPA, but is not easy to adapt to complex contour tone systems see under Chinese below for one workaround. The five IPA diacritics for level tones are OOO, with doubled high and low diacritics for extra high and extra low. The diacritics combine to form contour tones, of which O circumflex OOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
Depending on the dialect, each of these categories may then be divided into two tones, typically called yin and yang. Typically, syllables carrying the Ru tones are closed by voiceless stops in Chinese varieties that have such codas so in such dialects, Ru is not a tonal category in the sense used by Western linguistics but rather a category of syllable structures. Chinese phonologists perceived these checked syllables as having concomitant short tones, justifying them as a tonal category. In Middle Chinese, when the tonal categories were established, the shang and ku tones also had characteristic final obstruents with concomitant tonic differences whereas syllables bearing the ping tone ended in a simple sonorant. An alternative to using the Chinese category names is assigning to each category a numeral ranging from 1 to 8, sometimes higher for some southern Chinese dialects with additional tone splits. Syllables belonging to the same tone category differ drastically in actual phonetic tone across the varieties of Chinese even among dialects of the same group. For example, the yin ping tone is a high-level tone in Beijing Mandarin Chinese but a low-level tone in Tianjin Mandarin Chinese. More iconic systems use tone numbers or an equivalent set of graphic pictograms known as chow tone letters. These divide the pitch into five levels, with the lowest being assigned the value 1 and the highest the value 5. This is the opposite of equivalent systems in Africa and the Americas. The variation in pitch of a tone contour is notated as a string of two or three numbers. For instance, the four Mandarin Chinese tones are transcribed as follows Note that the tone letters will not display properly without a compatible font installed. A mid-level tone would be indicated by 33, a low-level tone, 11, etc. The doubling of the number is commonly used with level tones to distinguish them from tone numbers. Tone 3 in Mandarin Chinese, for example, is not mid-3. However, it is not necessary with tone letters, so, 33, equals simple. IPA diacritic notation is also sometimes seen for Chinese. One reason it is not more widespread is that only two contour tones, rising, and falling, are widely supported by IPA fonts while several Chinese varieties have more than one rising or falling tone. One common workaround is to retain standard IPA, and, for high rising, 35, and high falling, 53, tones and to use the subscript diacritics, and, for low rising, 13, and low falling, 31, tones. Hangul included tone marks for Middle Korean tones. However, Jongsang dialect Korean, which is used in southeastern regions of South Korea, are known to have a strong influence coming from tones. Standard Central Thai has five tones mid, low, falling, high and rising often indicated respectively by the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The Thai written script is an alphasyllabary, which specifies the tone unambiguously. Tone is indicated by an interaction of the initial consonant of a syllable, the vowel length, the final consonant if present, and sometimes a tone mark. A particular tone mark may denote different tones depending on the initial consonant. Vietnamese uses the Latin alphabet, and the six tones are marked by diacritics above or below a certain vowel of each syllable. In many words that end in diphthongs, however, the vowel marked depends on the writer's style. Notation for Vietnamese tones are as follows. The Latin-based Hmong and Yu mean alphabets use full letters for tones. In Hmong, one of the eight tones the tone is left unwritten while the other seven are indicated by the letters B, M, D, J, V, S, G at the end of the syllable. Since Hmong has no phonemic syllable final consonants, there is no ambiguity. That system enables Hmong speakers to type their language with an ordinary Latin letter keyboard without having to resort to diacritics. In the U mean, the letters V, C, H, X, Z indicate tones but unlike Hmong, it also has final consonants written before the tone. North America Several North American languages have tone, one of which is Cherokee, an Iroquoian language. Oklahoma Cherokee has six tones one low, two medium, three high, four very high, five rising and six falling. In Mesoamericanist linguistics, one stands for high tone and five stands for low tone, except in OTO Mangayan languages for which one may be low tone and three high tone. It is also common to see acute accents for high tone and grave accents for low tone and combinations of these for contour tones. Several popular orthographies use J or H after a vowel to indicate low tone. Southern Athabascan languages that include the Navajo and Apache languages are tonal, and are analyzed as having two tones, high and low. 
One variety of Hopi has developed tone, as has the Cheyenne language. The Mesoamerican language stock called Oto Mangayan is famously tonal and is the largest language family in Mesoamerica, containing languages including Zapotec, Mixtec, and Otomi, some of which have as many as five register tones Trik, Usula Chinantec, and others only two Matlatzinka and Chichimeca Jonas. Other languages in Mesoamerica that have tones are Huichol, Yucatec Maya, the Sotzil of San Bartolo, Uspanteco, and one variety of Wav. South America Many languages of South America are tonal. For example, various analyses of the Piraha language describe either two or three tones. The Tikuna language isolate is exceptional for having five register tones the only other languages in the Americas to have such a system are Trik and Usula, mentioned above. Europe. Swedish, Norwegian and Scots have simple word tone systems, often called pitch accent although they are actually contour tones, appearing only in words of two or more syllables. Each word has a lexical tone, which varies by dialect. Words whose pronunciation differs only in tone are frequently morphologically or etymologically unrelated and may be spelled differently, as in Norwegian cider, cider, cider sides. The two word tones are conventionally called tonilag, tonum 1 and tonum 2 in Norway and acute accent and grave accent in Sweden. In Norway, there are two major dialectal divisions based on tone, roughly eastern and western, northern, where the tones have different values, in the east, t1. <laughs> Level low, t2 Falling, in the west, north, t1 Topic. Falling, T2 Rising falling In Limburgish and Central Franconian dialects, tones can also occur in monosyllabic words, dog, day, dog, days. Limburgish is typically a two-tone system, distinguishing between level high and falling, but the tones can be realized in other ways depending on syntax, and some vowels diphthongize or monophthongize under certain tones. Depending on the dialect, Latvian has a two, three or four tone system. Orthographies In Roman script orthographies, a number of approaches are used. Diacritics are common, as in pinyin, but they tend to be omitted. Thai uses a combination of redundant consonants and diacritics. Tone letters may also be used, for example in Hmong RPA and several minority languages in China. Tone may simply be ignored, as is possible even for highly tonal languages, for example, the Chinese Navy has successfully used toneless pinyin in government telegraph communications for decades. Likewise, Chinese reporters abroad may file their stories in toneless pinyin. Dungan, a variety of Mandarin Chinese spoken in Central Asia, has, since 1927, been written in orthographies that do not indicate tone. Nd Juka, in which tone is less important, ignores tone except for a negative marker. However, the reverse is also true. In the Congo, there have been complaints from readers that newspapers written in orthographies without tone marking are insufficiently legible. Number of tones Languages may distinguish up to five levels of pitch, though the Kori language of Nigeria is described as distinguishing six surface tone registers. Since tone contours may involve up to two shifts in pitch, there are theoretically 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125 distinct tones for a language with five registers. However, the most that are actually used in a language is a tenth of that number. Several Kam Sui languages of southern China have nine contrastive tones, including contour tones. For example, the Kam language has nine tones, three more or less fixed tones high, mid and low, four unidirectional tones high and low rising, high and low falling, and two bidirectional tones dipping and peaking. This assumes that checked syllables are not counted as having additional tones, as they traditionally are in China. 
For example, in the traditional reckoning, the Kam language has 15 tones, but six occur only in syllables closed with p, t, or k, and the other nine occur only in syllables not ending in one of these sounds. Preliminary work on the Wobe language of Liberia and Côte d'Ivoire and the Chitino languages of southern Mexico suggests that some dialects may distinguish as many as 14 tones, but many linguists believe that many of these will turn out to be sequences of tones or prosodic effects. Origin André Georges Houdricourt established that Vietnamese tone originated in earlier consonantal contrasts and suggested similar mechanisms for Chinese. It is now widely held that Old Chinese did not have phonemically contrastive tone. The historical origin of tone is called tonogenesis, a term coined by James Matisoff. Tone is frequently an aerial rather than a genealogical feature. A language may acquire tones through bilingualism if influential neighboring languages are tonal or if speakers of a tonal language shift to the language in question and bring their tones with them. In other cases, tone may arise spontaneously and surprisingly quickly. The dialect of Cherokee in Oklahoma has tone, but the dialect in North Carolina does not, although they were separated only in 1838. Very often, tone arises as an effect of the loss or merger of consonants. Such trace effects of disappeared tones or other sounds have been nicknamed Cheshireization, after the lingering smile of the disappearing Cheshire cat in Alice in Wonderland. In a nonchal language, voiced consonants commonly cause following vowels to be pronounced at a lower pitch than other consonants. That is usually a minor phonetic detail of voicing. However, if consonant voicing is subsequently lost, that incidental pitch difference may be left over to carry the distinction that the voicing had carried and thus becomes meaningful phonemic. That happened in Punjabi, the Punjabi murmured voiced aspirate consonants have disappeared and left tone in their wake. If the murmured consonant was at the beginning of a word, it left behind a low tone, at the end, it left behind a high tone. If there was no such consonant, the pitch was unaffected, however, the unaffected words are limited in pitch and did not interfere with the low and high tones. That produced a tone of its own, mid-tone. The historical connection is so regular that Punjabi is still written as if it had murmured consonants, and tone is not marked. The written consonants tell the reader which tone to use. Similarly, final fricatives or other consonants may phonetically affect the pitch of preceding vowels, and if they then weaken to h and finally disappear completely, the difference in pitch, now a true difference in tone, carries on in their stead. This was the case with Chinese. Two of the three tones of Middle Chinese, the rising and the departing tones, arose as the Old Chinese final consonants and s, h, disappeared, while syllables that ended with neither of these consonants were interpreted as carrying the third tone, even. Most varieties descending from Middle Chinese were further affected by a tone split in which each tone divided in two depending on whether the initial consonant was voiced. Vowels following a voiced consonant, depressor consonant acquired a lower tone as the voicing lost its distinctiveness. The same changes affected many other languages in the same area, and at around the same time AD 1000 to 1500. The tone split, for example, also occurred in Thai, Vietnamese, and the Lhasa dialect of Tibetan. In general, voiced initial consonants lead to low tones while vowels after aspirated consonants acquire a high tone. When final consonants are lost, a glottal stop tends to leave a preceding vowel with a high or rising tone although glottalized vowels tend to be low tone so if the glottal stop causes vowel glottalization, that will tend to leave behind a low vowel. A final fricative tends to leave a preceding vowel with a low or falling tone. Vowel phonation also frequently develops into tone, as can be seen in the case of Burmese. Tone arose in the Athabascan languages at least twice, in a patchwork of two systems. In some languages, such as Navajo, syllables with glottalized consonants including glottal stops in the syllable coda developed low tones, whereas in others, such as Slavey, they developed high tones, so that the two tonal systems are almost mirror images of each other. Syllables without glottalized codas developed the opposite tone. For example, high tone in Navajo and low tone in Slavey are due to contrast with the tone triggered by the glottalization. Other Athabascan languages, namely those in western Alaska such as Koyukon and the Pacific coast such as Hoopa, did not develop tone. 
Thus, the Proto Athabascan word asterisk to water is toneless to in Hoopa, high tone to in Navajo, and low tone to in Slavey, while Proto Athabascan asterisk t is toneless oat in Hoopa, low tone odd in Navajo, and high tone o in Slavey. Kingston 2005 provides a phonetic explanation for the opposite development of tone based on the two different ways of producing glottalized consonants with either tense voice on the preceding vowel, which tends to produce a high F0, or creaky voice, which tends to produce a low F0. Languages with stiff glottalized consonants and tense voice developed high tone on the preceding vowel and those with slack glottalized consonants with creaky voice developed low tone. The Bantu languages also have mirror tone systems in which the languages in the northwest corner of the Bantu area have the opposite tones of other Bantu languages. Three Algonquian languages develop tone independently of one another and of neighboring languages, Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Kickapoo. In Cheyenne, tone arose via vowel contraction, the long vowels of Proto-Algonquian contracted into high-pitched vowels in Cheyenne while the short vowels became low-pitched. In Kickapoo, a vowel with a following H acquired a low tone, and this tone later extended to all vowels followed by a fricative. In Mohawk, a glottal stop can disappear in a combination of morphemes, leaving behind a long falling tone. Note that it has the reverse effect of the postulated rising tone in Mandarin Chinese, derived from a lost final glottal stop. See also Miasin's rule Tone letter Tone name Tone number Tone pattern Musical language Lion-eating poet in the stone den